This chip was never meant to change the world. It was built for gamers, for faster graphics, smoother worlds, and epic frame rates. But hidden inside its circuits was something far more powerful. Today, this same chip fuels the mind of ChatGPT, maps out self-driving cars, and helps decode human DNA. NVIDIA didn't just ride the wave of technology, it built it. From a quiet start in a California diner to becoming one of the world's most valuable tech giants, NVIDIA's story is a high-stakes gamble on the future. And the future, as it turns out, runs on NVIDIA. The Denny's Dream to Gaming Dominance It all began at a booth in a Denny's diner. In 1993, three engineers, Jensen Huang, Chris Malakowski, and Curtis Prem, shared a bold vision over greasy plates and lukewarm coffee. Their dream? To bring cinematic 3D graphics to personal computers. Inspired by the magic of movies like Jurassic Park, they imagined a future where realistic visuals weren't just for Hollywood, they would live inside every home. With little more than passion and persistence, they founded NVIDIA out of a small condo in Fremont, California. The name combined NV for next version and the Latin word NVIDIA, meaning envy. The dream was to make computing so powerful that it would turn competitors green with it. But survival wasn't guaranteed. In the mid-90s, NVIDIA was just one of many trying to push graphics chips into mainstream computing. Then came a defining breakthrough. In 1999, after nearly going bankrupt and laying off much of their workforce, NVIDIA launched the GeForce 256. Marketed as the world's first GPU, it allowed games to render custom lighting and shading, realism gamers had never seen before. That single innovation rocketed NVIDIA into the spotlight. By 2000, it had partnered with Microsoft to provide graphics for the first Xbox. NVIDIA wasn't just making chips, it was reshaping the entire gaming experience. They also made a pivotal business decision to become a fabulous chip maker. Instead of manufacturing in-house, they relied on Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC. It kept costs low and allowed them to focus entirely on innovation. By dominating the gaming GPU market, NVIDIA laid the foundation for something even bigger. Because the same chips that made dragons and explosions look real would soon be repurposed to teach machines how to think. From graphics to parallel power, the CUDA gamble. By the early 2000s, NVIDIA was a household name among gamers. But Jensen Huang wasn't satisfied. He saw a future where NVIDIA's chips could do more than draw beautiful images. They could accelerate all kinds of computing. The answer lay in parallel processing. Traditional CPUs, like those made by Intel or AMD, processed tasks one at a time, fast but linear. GPUs, on the other hand, had thousands of smaller cores, perfect for attacking a problem from multiple angles at once. This idea became the backbone of CUDA, a new software platform NVIDIA released in 2006. CUDA, short for Compute Unified Device Architecture, lets developers harness the power of NVIDIA's GPUs for more than just graphics. Suddenly, researchers and scientists could use gaming hardware to simulate weather, analyze proteins, or train early neural networks. Wall Street didn't understand it. CUDA was ahead of its time. For nearly a decade, NVIDIA's AI-focused initiatives were seen as a distraction. Investors gave them zero credit for it. But Huang didn't waver. Internally, NVIDIA began to reshape itself. Every chip they designed would now be built not just for rendering, but for learning, optimized for machine intelligence. This quiet transformation would pay off spectacularly. NVIDIA was no longer just a graphics company. It was evolving into something else entirely, a foundational pillar of next-generation computing. And soon, the world would take notice, because in a few short years, the AI revolution would explode, and NVIDIA would be holding the match. The AI boom, AlexNet to chat GPT. In 2012, an event quietly changed the course of technology 
and NVIDIA's future. A neural network named AlexNet dominated an annual image recognition competition. It was faster, smarter, and far more accurate than anything before it. The secret? It was trained using NVIDIA's GPUs. This moment is often called the Big Bang of modern artificial intelligence. What made it possible was CUDA, the very platform NVIDIA had spent years building while everyone else ignored it. The parallel architecture of GPUs turned out to be perfect for deep learning, a method where machines learn by example rather than instruction. While CPUs could take years to train complex models, GPUs could do it in weeks. This was NVIDIA's breakthrough. From that point on, NVIDIA doubled down. Every chip it developed would now be tailored for AI. They didn't just ride the AI wave, they helped create it. Fast forward a few years, and a company called OpenAI begins training a massive model called ChatGPT. To do it, they needed thousands of high-performance processors. They chose NVIDIA's A100, a data center-grade GPU built to handle the enormous demands of large language models. NVIDIA's role wasn't peripheral, it was central. Microsoft trained ChatGPT with 10,000 of these A100s. Each chip costs tens of thousands of dollars and is shipped in server packs of eight. These weren't gaming cards anymore, they were the engines of artificial cognition. As companies rushed into generative AI, demand for NVIDIA's chips exploded. Cloud providers, research labs, and startups all needed the same thing. Raw GPU power. What started as a graphics company was now the beating heart of the AI revolution. Now, first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Beyond chat GPT, healthcare, cars, and robotics. While ChatGPT may be the flashiest example of NVIDIA's AI dominance, it's just one piece of a much larger puzzle. NVIDIA's chips now drive innovation far beyond chatbots, into operating rooms, research labs, factory floors, and highways. In healthcare, NVIDIA GPUs are accelerating genomic sequencing and drug discovery. Tasks that once took weeks now finish in hours. In one case, NVIDIA Tech helped diagnose a life-threatening genetic condition in time to save a three-month-old baby suffering from epileptic seizures. Inside warehouses, NVIDIA powers autonomous robots that navigate, sort, and move packages with precision. Companies like Amazon use NVIDIA's AI to create digital twins of their entire operations, simulations that help optimize everything from logistics to energy usage. Then there's transportation. NVIDIA's platform, Drive, enables autonomous vehicle technology, from basic lane assist systems to fully self-driving robotaxis. Even though Tesla has since developed its chips, NVIDIA's early Tegra processors were once the brains of its Model 3. Now, NVIDIA is working with companies like Mercedes-Benz to bring advanced AI driving to the road. What's surprising is how NVIDIA reuses its past. The same Tegra chips that flopped in the smartphone market now power the robotic brains of tomorrow's delivery bots and autonomous machines. In each of these areas, NVIDIA's advantage is the same. Fast, scalable, adaptable processing power designed for AI. It's not just about graphics or even language anymore. It's about solving real-world problems, faster and smarter than ever before. The risky road, China, chips, and competition. NVIDIA may be riding high, but its position is far from invincible. For all its technological dominance, the company faces serious geopolitical and competitive risks that could shake its foundations. One major issue is China. Roughly 25% of NVIDIA's revenue comes from the mainland. But in 2022, the US government imposed strict export controls, banning sales of NVIDIA's most advanced AI chips, like the A100, to China. Overnight, a quarter of NVIDIA's market was in question. Jensen Huang's response? Adapt fast. 
NVIDIA scrambled to redesign its chips, producing slightly slower versions that met the new export rules. It worked, for now, but it showed just how vulnerable the company is to politics beyond its control. Then there's the supply chain. NVIDIA doesn't make its chips. It relies almost entirely on Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC. If political tensions over Taiwan escalate, or if production is disrupted, NVIDIA could be in serious trouble. To reduce risk, NVIDIA has pledged to use TSMC's new factories in Arizona, built with support from the U.S. CHIPS Act. But that won't happen overnight. Meanwhile, big tech is closing in. Google, Amazon, Apple, Tesla, and even Microsoft are all developing their custom AI chips. These former customers could soon become NVIDIA's biggest competitors. The irony? NVIDIA helped ignite the AI revolution, and now it must defend its throne from the very giants it enabled. Building Tomorrow, Huang's vision and the Omniverse. Jensen Huang has never been content with the present. Under his leadership, NVIDIA keeps leaping toward what's next, and now that future is called the Omniverse. This isn't just virtual reality, it's a living simulation of the real world, where engineers, robots, and designers interact in real time. Factories test new layouts without building them. Cars train to drive in cities they've never visited. It's a convergence of AI, graphics, and physics simulation, all running on NVIDIA chips. One core technology making this possible is ray tracing. With its RTX GPUs, NVIDIA simulates how light behaves in reality, shadows, reflections, and glow. Combined with AI, it predicts pixels it doesn't even compute, filling in the gaps like magic. This power not only cutting-edge games, but also high-fidelity modeling used in everything from climate research to autonomous vehicles. At the center is Huang himself, still CEO, still dreaming. His risks built a company worth hundreds of billions. His next bet? That NVIDIA won't just power today's AI revolution. It will create the infrastructure of a synthetic future, where simulation and reality blur. And for Huang, one truth remains. If the future is being built, it's probably being built on NVIDIA.